Hello and welcome to the Open Days UK YouTube channel. This is video three in our off-season look at the A's free agents to be. We've looked at Marcus Semyon and Robbie Grossman so far. And in this video, we're going to look at two position players who joined the team during this season. That is Jake Lamb and Tommy Lestella. We'll start with Jake Lamb. Now, with these videos, I'm trying not to lead you too much because I want to know your comments below. But I think with Lamb, we can all be in agreement that it's very unlikely he's going to be returning to the open days. He was brought in as cover once Matt Chapman's injury befell him and then he missed the rest of the season. So he came in in the middle of September, played 13 regular season games. And of course, he was nowhere near Matt Chapman because hey, ain't nobody like Matt Chapman. But he did a decent enough job in that small number of games and kind of took on cult status really with his free home runs. However, the fact that he was available, having been released by the Arizona Diamondbacks, kind of sums up the situation with Jake Lamb. He was an experienced third baseman the A's could get for very little money as a short-term rental. That's what they did. That's what we got from him. It's likely that he's going to be leaving. But, hey, come on. Wham, bam. Thank you, Lamb. It's a different story with Tommy Lestella. Now, second base has been a bit of a problem position for the A's recently. The Jerkson profile trade last year really didn't work out. We came into 2020 really not knowing he was going to claim that spot. And it was a bit of a mix and match until we brought in Tommy Lestella from the Angels. Now, we knew Tommy well from his time with the Angels and we got exactly what we thought we did from him in the stretch drive. He is a guy who is consistent at second base, not for flash, but consistent and really good at the plate in terms of giving you good at bats and bringing you some versatility because he's a left-handed bat, which we really need alongside Matt Olson in our lineup. And just as importantly, it seemed like as soon as he got here, he fitted in well with the team. That was something that Bob Melvin reinforced when he spoke to the beat writers after the ALDS lost. He mentioned that Tommy fitted in straight away and immediately became a key part of the team. So he's somebody that hopefully has a warm feeling towards the A's and would hopefully want to stay. The Stella was due to earn $3.25 million in 2020 before all the COVID-19 cutbacks. So you would think he wouldn't command a huge contract, bearing in mind he's a steady player rather than a real star. And that means if the A's want to keep him, they've surely got a decent chance to do so. And why wouldn't the A's want to keep Tommy Lestella? When you're in the A's position in terms of being the AL West champs and wanting to back that up next year, you need a steady presence like Tommy Lestella at second base, particularly where we've cycled through options over the past year or so. With all of the talk of Tommy really fitting in well with the team, you've got to hope that he will want to come back to the A's and extend his time in the green and gold. Will the A's be able to get it done? There's no reason why they shouldn't, other than the usual reason of John Fisher. But there we go. What do you think, guys? Do you think we should keep hold of Tommy and Stella? Should we give someone else a chance? Should we see if we can get somebody else? Let me know in your comments below and also your thoughts on Jake Van too. And we'll add them all in when we do our off-season review in our A's UK podcast very soon.